everybody. Welcome to the University of Göttingen. My name is Tim Benjamin Lemke. And I'm Matthias Wilnert. And we are here today to introduce you to our Chair of Information Management and our Smart Mobility Research Group, which is part of the MOVE project. So, would you like to join us? Then follow. So these are our offices. Normally we are around 14 people working here, but currently obviously due to the pandemic it's gotten a little lonely. We are a very interdisciplinary team with researchers uh, arranging their backgrounds from information technology over economics, data science, but also um, research areas like transportation research. This is my office and as you can see we are really proud to be part of the MOVE research project. Um, our research group focuses on research on um, new smart sustainable mobility solutions especially in the rural area and we try to do this uh, in close cooperation with corporate partners and also governmental partners. We have two more research groups on our chair. One focuses on digital health and the other on digital transformation in big corporations. I'd like to show you a few of the projects in which we are currently involved. For example, we have our pet share project. In this, we look how small and medium enterprises could set up a sustainable pet leg sharing system in order to allow their employees to use pet legs for business trips in the nearby surrounding of the companies. Another project is our Fresh project. This project, in close collaboration with the Hamburg Port Authority and further research partners, we look at how the balancing energy and the fleet management of the port could be used in a sustainable way when we electrify the container fleet at the Hamburg Port. And the third project I'd like to show you is our MATS project. In this project, we look together with the county of Nordheim in an EU leader funded project how we could improve the mobility situation for newly immigrated people to the county of Nordheim and how we could show them in a newly designed app how they can use the public transport offerings which are available in the county. Like other areas in Europe, we in Lower Saxony also struggle to provide our rural population with flexible and sustainable mobility solutions. This is why we have become a part of the MOVE project. We love to share our expertise on mobility research and together with our further research partners, the HZ University and the Ghent University, we aim to support our implementation partners with our knowledge and experience all throughout their journey to test innovative and sustainable pilots in their regions. So how does this work? Let me show you our MOVE research and design cycle. So first of all, we usually start with an exploration phase. In this phase, it is important to understand the needs of the potential customers best. So for example, we do field research or we support our pilot partners with different qualitative surveys. 
then in the design and development phase, the pilot partners are asked to envision their pilot in a more concrete way. In this phase, we help them with different tools so that they can best match the customer needs with their pilot offering. In the test phase, then it comes to a little bit of a showdown because then we will put the pilot to the test and have a look how the population accepts it and how it is currently used. And in this test phase, we also want to gain insights on how actively is a pilot used. And in the evaluation phase, it's all about learning from the feedback we got in the field test. As knowledge partners, we have also conducted some interesting qualitative and move related research. The results of this research we also managed to publish in different peer-reviewed journal and conference articles. By doing so, we hope that the general public can access our results and that we inspire future mobility pilots and initiatives. Yeah, and we hope that this short video gave you a little insight in who we are and how we work. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to show you a bit more in detail our research and present you a couple of our research papers that we've published over the last couple of years. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.